What's going on guys? Bears with Knives here and today I'm doing another interesting video and today I'm going to be doing my case knife collection. I've talked about case knives a lot. I mentioned how much I like them. I recently showed one of my case knives in my best gift knives video and I've talked about them but I've only showed a small portion of my entire case knife collection. So I figured today while everyone's trapped in quarantine I'd go ahead and show my entire collection of my case knives. So First thing I have here is a really nice fixed blade set. I can't remember what this is called, but it comes in this um, two set right here of fixed blades. In this, It's in this really nice genuine uh, leather sheath right here. Super, super high quality. Um, I love it a lot. So you just have some button snaps here, and then you have this really small fixed blade right here. Hopefully you can see that. Nice little small fixed blade. And then you have this much larger one right here. Super high quality pieces, stacked leather handle, super nice. I uh, like it a lot. Hopefully you can see that there. So there's the fixed blades. Love the look of them, super classy. like it a lot. Then the next one up here is my grandfather's knife. I've covered this a lot on the channel. It's an unfortunate story. But um, this was my grandfather's knife and I carry it every day on his birthday in January and he means a lot to me and so does this knife um, it's probably one of the last pieces I'll have to remember him by and um, like I said I've covered it on the story before but my grandfather unfortunately has Alzheimer's and he's had it for a long time now and it's only getting worse and he's in his late 70s by now and especially Throughout this past year, he's had really declining health. Um, he took a fall about two years back that almost killed him, almost broke his neck, and ever since then, he's never been the same. And especially this last year, he's just been kind of... We can tell that he's going soon, so it does make me sad thinking about it. But this is his knife, and I'll treasure it. As you can see, it's rusty, starting to rust. And things like that. But my grandfather was really the one who gave me an appreciation for tools. Uh, my grandfather loved his case knives. And he loved his fixed blades. He loved hunting. He loved fishing. He loved his guns. And, uh, yeah. And he gave me just a great appreciation for tools. You know, he would use his case knives for everything all the time. And he would love to hand sharpen. I remember as a kid, I would see him in his garage just hand sharpening on sharpening stones all day. He'd sharpen his pocket knives, he'd sharpen his hunting knives, his kitchen knives, everything. So he just really gave me an appreciation for tools. And this is probably going to be one of the last things I have to remember him by. So it just means a lot to me that I have this. So my grandfather's case knife. Next one up here is a Sawed Buster. Uh, I believe I've showed this a couple other uh, times on the channel, but this is a large Sawed Buster. They do make a Sawed Buster Jr., but this is the large one here. It's got this uh, synthetic blue handle on there, right there. So hopefully you can see that. Really big knife. Um, definitely not the best quality, but, you know, it is what it is. It wasn't that expensive. So case Sawed Buster. Next one up here is a case trapper. I got this a couple years back when I took a trip to the Amish country. Uh, I live in Ohio, and uh, the Amish country is about two hours away from where I live. So usually me and a couple other of my family members will take a trip down there, uh, you know, once a year if we can. Unfortunately, last year we didn't get to, um, but we love going down there. The, the people there are so nice, like... The, legitimately, the Amish people are the nicest people I've ever met in my entire life. They're just, they're so kind people, and their food is so great. Like, Amish food and the stuff they make is the best I've ever had in my life. Uh, so I love going down there. And they always have big shops as well, and they always have tons of antique stuff and tons of stuff. And one of the places I go specifically, every time I go, they always have a huge case of case knives. Uh, so this was one I got a couple years back. It's super nice. I love that color. I love that color. It's very worn, as you can see, but that blue is just very, very nice. I love that a lot. 
but it's a standard trapper. You have your clip point blade right there, and then you have your spay blade right there. Super, super nice. I love this knife a lot. I just love that color so much. Now, uh, next one up here is a Case Stockman. I believe I've shown this one on the channel before. Um, it's the exact same as my grandfather's knife, just my grandfather's knife uh, is a much older model. This is a more new model. And I got this in the nice bright orange right here, but same size, same everything, just newer. You have your clip point blade here, and you have your little Warren Cliff right there. And then you have another little spay blade, so there you go. Super nice, though. I like the orange. It's super bright. I uh, like it. Next one up here is my Case Trapper. Uh, another one. This is a more recent one. I got this, I think, right at the tail end of last year. Um, but it's got really nice carbon fiber. It doesn't really show up well on camera. But it's got nice red and uh, black layered carbon fiber on there. And this is one of their chrome vanadium lines. Uh, so a lot of my other case knives are just the stainless steel, the True Sharp. But this one has the chrome vanadium. So it's more of a high carbon steel. But same trapper basically as the other one. Just with carbon fiber. Same clip point and spade blade on there. Nice knife though. Next one up here is my Case Peanut, little tiny knife in the nice white um, handles here. It's got this nice red shield, which I like, but the only thing I don't like is they put this glitter in here, which I don't really like. Just, it seems kind of odd to me, but overall I like the knife. It looks nice, but little peanut here, you got the little clip point blade, a super tiny knife. Um, it's got one of the weakest springs I've ever seen on a knife before. Um, but, you know, it's just a tiny knife, so that's not big of a deal. And then you have also a little pen blade back here as well. So, Case Peanut. Next one up here is one of my favorites, just because of the history of it. This is a Case Doctor's Knife, and um, it's just really nice, really uh, classy, really sleek. I uh, like it a lot. And, uh, yeah, I love that blade on here. Really long, slender blade. Beautiful. And then this one also has uh, a spatula on it. So with some of these doctor's knives, you can find them where it's just the blade. Some of them have the spatula like this. And then some of them have a pen blade instead of a spatula on there. But uh, the doctor's knife has a lot of histor you know, historical meaning behind it. This flat bottom of the knife here was specifically designed to be flattened and squared off so you could crush pills and things like that. The spatula was used for all kinds of stuff. So I just like this knife and I've always liked this pattern for the history. Um, I just like it a lot. But it's a super nice. This is definitely a case knife that if I had to wear a suit I would take this. I mean you could put any case knife in a suit. They're all classy. But this one with just with this look, you know, and how thin it is and I like it. And I like this black pattern here. I don't know why. It just kind of looks like this knife is wearing a tuxedo. So super classy. Like it a lot. Uh next one here is my case Texas toothpick. This is in the ultraviolet handle scales right here. Um, I like this side more. This side is a little less worn. I like this back scale a little more just because it looks a little worn. So I like that. But I've always liked the Case Toothpick model. Um, so there we go. I just got it in this nice purple because it's variety. You know, it's like I could have bought all these knives in the same color or whatever because there's a million different versions. But I want variety in my collection. So nice little purple on the Texas Toothpick right here. So there we go. Next up here is the Sawbuster Junior that I was talking about earlier. Let me get the other Sawbuster back. There we go. So you can see the size difference. This is the regular Sawbuster, and then this is the Sawbuster Junior. Uh, so you can see that there. But this is actually one of my favorite case knives, believe it or not. I love this little thing. It's a perfect size knife for my hands. It fits perfectly in my hands. Um, it's one of the better finished case knives I have, and I love that blade, full flat ground, super sharp, super thin as well, uh, really comfortable to use, 
and um, it's got a fairly strong spring on it. So it's honestly one of my favorites uh, as an actual huser. Um, it's just got a perfect design for carry. Uh, so I really like the Sodbuster Jr. I like it a lot more than the regular Sodbuster. And then it's got these nice handles. I don't know if these are bone or synthetic, but whatever it is, it's nice and I like it. So there we go. Uh, next one up here is the Case Barlow. Uh, I really like this knife. I like the blue handles. Hopefully you can see that there. It's a lot darker here towards the center, and it kind of fades off towards the sides there. Uh, you can see it on the back as well, but I really like this. I like the um, simple shape of the knife here. It's just got a pretty standard blade on there. Basically just like a regular utility blade shape. Nothing too fancy about it. Got a really strong spring on there. Also, a really nice case knife for hewsing. If you're going to get a case knife to hewse, this is definitely a good one. It's just got a very good, simple design to it, and it works. But I really like that handle. It's also got a nice half stop in there as well. Um, so, really nice knife. It's also fairly thin as well, so really nice. Next one up here is a case swayback. Um, I love this. I love the Swayback um, design a lot. I mean, you could see that the designs I have a lot of, I have duplicates of. Like, I have two Stockmans, I have two Trappers, I have two Sodbusters. So, you know the patterns I like a lot, I have multiple of. And this is the Swayback. I love the Swayback pattern. I love that Warren Cliff and just the overall shape of the knife. I like it a lot. This is the only other case knife I have. That has the chrome vanadium. You can see it right there with CV. So it will patina over time. But I love that. I love that red. It's super nice looking. Has a great texture to it as well. Super thin little knife. I mean this thing weighs nothing. I don't know the weight off of my head. Um, but it's super super light. But I love it. Um, it's a great looking little knife. Looks great. Love it a lot. Also has a half stop on there, a super strong half stop as well on this one. And then my favorite case knife, this is another Swayback. This is a new one for 2020. I picked this up right at the start of the year when it came out. But this is a, um, it's got a, uh, a Pacific name. I can't remember what is it, but what it is, but I'm just going to refer to it as the Clover uh, one. But it's got a Clover shield on there. And look at that green. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, this knife looks 10 times better in person than it does on camera. Like, the camera really does not show off how beautiful this knife is. But I love the sway back pattern. I love that Warren Cliff blade. And then with that green, it's so beautiful. I love, it's a saw cut bone. And I love the saw cut up here. And then I love how much darker green and then kind of fades off into almost like a mint green on the sides. Oh, this knife is so beautiful. I love this knife. This is my favorite case knife just by looks. That is a sexy, sexy knife. I love that. So either way, there's my case knife collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just something for you guys to see, you know, during this quarantine. Uh, so there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.